So today I'm gonna show you how to connect your payments gateway onto your Zoho invoice account. I'm gonna actually take you onto the desktop so you can follow along here step by step. So like I mentioned, we are here on the desktop and there's a couple different ways you can get to adding your payment gateway. One of the ways is actually here on the top right hand side, there is our little gear icon that we can go ahead and click on and it's gonna bring a drop down menu here for us. And what we can actually do is go down to where you see online payments. Now let's go ahead and click on this and show you the next page. Now that's gonna take us to our online payments right over here where you might've seen this page before or seen something similar when you were either setting up your Zoho invoice account or when you were getting ready to make your very first invoice. Now you can see here on the left, it is currently set up under the credit and debit cards, but there's also ACH, PayPal, and a couple other different brands that you can go ahead and connect with. Now here for the credit cards and debit cards, it does have a recommendation to connect with your Stripe account if you do have one, but you can also click right over here where it says view all uh, payment gateways. So if you go ahead and click on there, it's gonna show you all the different options. Now, if by chance you already have a Stripe account, you can go ahead and click on setup now, which is what we're gonna go ahead and do. And if by chance you do not already have a Stripe account, but wanna see the step-by-step -step process, we will have that in the show notes down below for you. So you can see all the questions that we'll ask you when opening up a brand new Stripe account. All right, so let's go ahead and click on set up now. And that's gonna take us to a page that looks something like this, which is pretty close to our Stripe account already. And you can see here, it says, if you already have a Stripe account, go ahead and use that same email. So we're gonna plug in that email that we have for our Stripe account, and we're gonna click on submit. Now from here, it is going to go ahead and ask you for the password for your Stripe account. So this is as if you are logging into your regular Stripe account. And then once we do that, the submit button will be highlighted, which we'll go ahead and click on. And if for any reason you did forget your password, you can always click on reset password, or you can use a different email address if you plugged in the wrong one. So we're gonna plug in our password and click on the submit button. Now you might also have additional security measures when it comes to logging into your Stripe account like we do, whether it's from a phone number or authenticator app. So we're gonna plug in the number and then go on to the next page. Now from here, it is going to go ahead and show you all the accounts you might have under that email address. So you can see for us here, we have True Financials, which is one of our businesses. And since that's one of our businesses that we do want to have it connected with, we're going to go ahead and now click on the connect button right over here. And now that actually takes us right back to our Zoho page. And you can actually see our integration status has been moved over to active. It shows the account name and it shows the payment methods that will be available for us. So now we can actually go ahead and start receiving credit card payments through our Zoho invoices. 